Today we're going to have a look with the Aussie straight shooter bore camera down a rifle barrel under three circumstances. One, the barrel is clean. Two, it's had about 20 shots put through it. And three, it's been left for a few days in humid conditions. Now the bore camera allows you to examine the barrel and compare and see what's going on. And it really shows you how important it is to clean that, that rifle and keep it in good condition. All right, so we've been out shooting and uh, the rifle hasn't been cleaned since we've put quite a few rounds through it. And we want to have a bit of a look down the barrel to see how it looks. This is our Aussie straight shooter bore camera. Now this camera is extremely small as you can see. It's only 4.5 millimeters in diameter. That allows it to easily slip into a 22 caliper barrel or even a, a 204. Because this is a 308 rifle, we need a couple of little o-ring spacers to go around the camera. If we slip them on there, they'll make sure that the camera stays central in the barrel. Okay, the camera also has lights around it. You can see it has six LEDs of various varying brightness, so it allows us to illuminate inside the barrel. And it's got a very flexible cable. This is a huge benefit because you can slip it in around the corner, in through the receiver, or if you're looking at, depending what you're looking at, it's very easy to get it in and it's not fragile. Over here, we have a USB cable and that feeds the signal from the camera into the laptop where we get our image appearing on the screen. So we can look at the image as the camera goes down the barrel. So here we can just slip it into the up there the chamber there and gradually push it down slowly it will go the full length of the barrel, even quite a long target barrel. We have a, a meter long flexible cable. It goes right in. And so it's as simple as that. just have a quick look down this barrel that's just been cleaned so as you can see there's not a lot of dirt in this barrel it's not perfectly clean there's some tiny streaks of copper fouling along the edges of the rifling as we go down towards the muzzle we can see that generally Speaking, it's a clean barrel. It's ready to go out shooting. A few tiny little scratch marks on the land. As we go up, but it's generally it's pretty clean. See a little bit of copper fouling there towards the muzzle. Just caught in the land. And there we are, right up to the muzzle. We'll see what it's like after a bit of shooting. Okay, this is the same barrel. It's had approximately 20 shots put through it. And um, let's have a look and see what has, what sort of dirt has collected in there. You can see the internal finish of the barrel is much duller now because it's got the powder residue in there. Here we're coming up to the rifling. Okay, you can see it's a little bit of copper fouling, but not much. It looks beautiful, really. As we go down there, what I'm looking for are any sort of uh, cross-cut machine marks on the rifling that might collect a big uh, bit, of, scrape a bit off the uh, projectile's jacket, which we're not seeing. 
Okay, yeah, it's looking looking nice and even coating of powder residue all down the barrel. This is a very accurate rifle and it's a, a barrel that's almost new. It's only fired maybe a hundred rounds. Okay, yeah, you can see it's very evenly coated with the almost down to the muzzle. That's it. We're down to the muzzle. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the result of putting the uh, 20 shots down there. So it looks good. Okay, you can see the walls of the chamber there. We're coming up and you can see the rifling up ahead starting. Okay, so this rifle hasn't been cleaned for a couple of days after being fired. You can see a little bit of oxidization around the edges of the rifling lands there. So as we move the camera up the barrel, we can see it's a nice even colouring that the projectile has made on the rifling. Which is good, it's actually a very good barrel. Okay, as we go up there, we can see there's no major defects or anything as the as we go up down the barrel. We go right up towards the muzzle. Okay. There we are. Right through from end to end.